today I want to show you how to use Canvas Video Editor for your videos, either YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, Facebook Video, whatever it is. I use Canva Video Editor as my main editor now because it's been so simple to use. So let me show you how I put a video together using Canva. So I'm going to use uh, YouTube Video because that's what I'm going to create. You can create other video types too, the vertical type videos here. Um, they've got all the dimensions set up for you, but I'm going to go with YouTube video because that's what I'm making. And once I'm in here, you can either find some templates on the side for your intro and your outro, which is very handy because they have a lot of themes for you to use. So you can click through it um, and take a look. But today I'm just chopping up a really simple video and this video editor helps me speed through a lot of my editing because it's just very easy to use. So I will just start with dragging my videos in here. I usually upload my videos straight in here. So I go to the videos section and then I will just drag my video here. Once you have your video here, you'll see this whole timeline down here. Now that it's playing, I'll stop it. It's very intuitive design, so you can see the whole timeline here. So once you drag your video in, it'll just make this whole thing the length of the video. Right now it's pretty stretched out and using this, it zooms in and out, but if you click on here, It'll toggle to zooming the thumbnails down here so you can actually make it shorter so you can see the length of the video. What I like to do, you can either do this or not, but I like to just set video as background and sometimes if I don't want that and I want a background, I usually go in and find a background. So uh, let's do that today. So I'll pull a background here. And this is my video. And I want to pretty much keep everything in here. I don't need to edit any bits. But if you do need to edit anything, you would just go in here and you'll see the length of the video. And you can either trim it like this, or they have a feature now for auto trim. So you can click that for this it'll take out the interesting parts using AI, but I don't need that, so I'm going to go back and undo that. If you are using this as shorts, I think it'd be pretty cool to go in here and do highlights because it'll highlight the interesting parts of the video using AI so it saves you on just chopping pieces of your video. That's where you can adjust the length of your video. Here, if I wanted to edit something, say I want to edit this part out, I just put the cursor here and usually I just type S for split or you can right click and use split page and that's how you can take something out and delete it and have that as your video and edit your edit out any parts that you don't like so now I am going to duplicate this page because I want to keep it the background and I'll just delete this and add my other um, video on here and so Right now, I don't have any intros or outros, and that's fine. I will probably just keep the background as the outro. So I'll just delete this and keep it to 10 seconds. And this is pretty much my whole video. What I like about Canva is that they have um, a a huge set of elements ready to use so if I need to like spice up anything on my video I don't need to go to another source um, I can just find whatever I need 
here say I need a Canva logo I can just go in here and drop it right in everything is at your fingertips you don't have to upload and download and everything like that it's very seamless process and they have lots of cool transitions if you want to transition from one section to another this is where you can do it this is add page so you can add another page but if you hover over in between videos then you can go add transition and this pops up and I usually like the circle swipe and then you can also adjust how long the um, duration of the transition is and the direction and they actually have a new feature that match and move I don't have anything fancy set up here yet but it this is a AI feature and I think it's really cool because it makes your animation look more complex than it actually is and I think that'd be a really cool transition if you use that. These are all the transitions that they have. And this color swipe is cool because you can pick your own colors and direction. Pretty standard, but makes it very easy to use in Canva. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today and leave me a comment if you want me to cover anything else and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.